Mr. Fire here. The parents. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you people from the Red Castle up to all that country. He wants to be here today, but he's here together. He has chosen me, the servant, the bubble servant, to be the government. So I came to democratize him. We're here for a few minutes. Of course, I'll show you what I'm looking for. But let me talk to the students first, the graduates. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Who here want to be a medical doctor? Who are here to see you? Wonderful. Great. Who want to be a lawyer? Lawyer. Wonderful. Who here want to be a farmer? Wow, that's nice. Who here want to be police officer? Want to be a firefighter? You know who a firefighter is? Wonderful. Who among you want to be a nurse? Great. Thank you very much. Now you can put your hand up. All the professions I talk about, they are all important. It's good. Your performance here today is excellent. And it's because of you will have a better country. But is it the police officers, the military, the firefighters, all those positions, the security guards, they are very, very important. The carpenters, the plumbers, they are all very, very important. You know, to have a good country, everyone has to contribute. There are some people their job is to build this structure, this building. You see the beautiful edifice we're sitting in. They have a job. Probably what was done here. People who made the bathroom. But they are the lawyers. When they also falsely accuse people and jail them, they go and free them. Somebody who been doing that in Liberia, his name is Siawon S. Gongro. Whenever they want to cheat people and put them in jail, you go and fight for them to release them. Are you with me? Are you understanding me? Okay. So I'm asking you, why don't you define the word integrity? One person said integrity. The act of you doing the right thing all the time when nobody even seeing you is called integrity. You're doing the right thing all the time. So I ask all of you people, to have that word, to take that word and grow with it and study it. Okay? Thank you very much. Give yourself a big hand clap. Clap for yourself. Wonderful. Thank you. That was for the graduating class. You know, as I said, they're going to be the future leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, the young lady who read our story, I want to say thank you. It was a long reading, but you did well. The intention is to tell you who I am. You know, God is great. He is wonderful. As you heard in that story, 1981, December 24, I did not have any education until 1985. I remember playing. 1989, telling my father I wanted to go to school. He said, next year, I'll finish those school here, I'll send you to another town called Joa. In Joa, you'll go to school with my friend. But next day, the war came, and everything went bad. So, yes, rebels. Almost three different times, I and all my brothers were arrested to go fight. We were constructed. But each time, we ran away. And when we did not want to be soldiers. Finally, in 1995, I heard I started school at the age of 13 years, 8 months. And you know the rest of the story. I think the story here is 
to tell you if you are here listening, you are not too old to learn. When you are determined, God can help you. Ten years later, I will graduate from high school. And not ten years later, I get a bachelor degree, two master's degree, and a PhD. It is God, but it is through hard work. It is through intelligence. It is through determination. But for the fun purpose of the gallery here today, I want to show you something. It's important that I show you this. This is a colored box. What I'm wearing in school, it has to do with what do you do about poverty? My PhD is in a field called political ecology. In that field, we study the root causes of poverty and what we can do about it. So pay attention to just a quarter. This corner not is the resource of the country. Take this corner not to be the diamond the goal, the dreams, the words, even the thing. The problem with this is that it's a finite resource. What I mean is that it can finish. You take the diamond off the earth today, it's not coming back forever. If you take the gold, it's not coming back. This resource is encapsulated in the national budget of the country. So call this the budget. Watch me. I'm about to demonstrate something to you to understand. This is the national budget. Why is it that people are poor in Liberia? Why is it that people don't have jobs? Why is it that we are not able to send our kids to school? Why is it that we don't have fitting school systems? Why is it we don't have good roads? This is what happened. If you study the budget historically and even today, the president and his office wants me. That's the one the president is eating. I don't want to eat too much of cola, I'm like eating it myself. Right? The president. Historically, the president. See the Biden court? Okay. Our lawmakers today. Are you with me? Those who are heading public offices, the head of public cooperation. So the budget. Tell me what is left when the officials are eating it this way. Are you with me? What is left to build schools? What is left to build hospitals and provide drugs? What is left to take the vulnerable youth from the streets, the one you call Zobos today? Now you see the reason why, right? The one that is left is so small. And that's why when you go to government offices, people are sitting on smartphone the whole day. Because they don't have any work to do. They are taking pay, so they are very small pay, at least the silver servant, but no job. Because for them to work, they need logistics to work. What is left to pay the police officers or the military? is impoverished because the resources are going in the pocket of few individuals. Now you see the reason why people want to get into government. Some of them even go as far as getting having blood on their hands because they want to get into government. Because government is considered to be area of wealth creation. Government is the place now to enrich ourselves at the detriment of the masses. 
Are you with me? But something has done that well, something gonna happen. During election time, they come back again in government. They turn their back. And their back that just got is the loom. You go into market business, the market women, we give you a loom. They've got another one. The election time. We buy lapos for the women. You know? They call another one. We give them scholarship. 